going live in just a moment. There we go. What's up, Paxters? Welcome to Thursday. Uh, today's video is a short one, but sweet, um, because I don't have this thing working yet. It is an M5 stick, and it was given to me by my friend Mohib Zara, who is an amazing hacker and all-around cool human being. Uh, check out this thing. It's got all this sort of self-documenting information on it. Besides your usual sort of pin labelings, which are interestingly color-coded, um, you've also got the name of the device, the M5 Stick C. Uh, the buttons are labeled, um, along with their pin numbers, infrared, uh, LED labeling. Uh, you've got this, this button on here. Um, you've got the case that cracks open. You've got a Grove connector. You've got a USB-C connector, which gives it power as well as other connectivity. And then you've got, uh, for example, the uh, model number of the LCD of the microphone, uh, and it tells you about how it has a six axis IMU and which one it is, um, a PMIC, RTC, real time clock, uh, and the interior uh, ASP32 Pico 4M that is powering the whole thing, plus the uh, model name again, which is the M56C and the FCC ID, and then all these certification thingamajigs. Uh, very cool. So uh, let's take a look at this thing on the internet. The reason that I brought this up. Okay, so a while ago, uh, Muib also a while ago gave me the M5 Stack Faces Pocket Platform, which I haven't yet gotten to messing around with. We need to have another hack day, obviously, stat. Um, but anyway, today I was messing around on the featured projects, which, you know, if you go to the main homepage, the first thing you see is the featured projects. You hit view all, and then you come up to this page where there are a bunch of neat things to look at. And keep Look at that one, it's so cool. But I noticed that two of them, uh, including this uh, text buffer scrolling display and then this other one, uh, home security alert thing, both use this M5 stick. And so those are going to be great places for me to start to look at what I can do with this thing. Uh, this one actually uses also another version of the M5 stick, which is the M5 stick V <laughs> AI camera without Wi-Fi, which looks fascinating as well. Look at it. Um, and then it also has this little screen unit. Oh, that might actually be the home security system. <laughs> but yeah, look at it. Tells you how to connect them, uh, how the AI works, and all that good stuff. Rad. And then also there's this other one with the text buffer scrolling display. Library to display texts on the M5 Stick C in any orientation. Uh, using the IMU, the display scrolls and wraps text lines automatically. So you can rotate it as you want. Uh, I mentioned in the description of this video that it is a wearable display, and that's because when you buy it, uh, it can come, you can order the version uh, of it on its own or with the uh, whole wearable watch accessories kit, uh, which is pretty cool. Look at that. Um, yeah, so there's, uh, there's the C Plus development kit with hat. And then there's also just the regular one on its own. This is all available on m5stack.com. Uh, there's another cool project I found by looking at hackster.io slash m5stack. Uh, you can find this product page and there's all kinds of cool stuff, including this cool rover. Uh, check that out, a little robot powered by m5stick. Oh, look at it. Or wait, maybe this is the m5, uh, hard to tell. I guess that's the atom there on top, maybe. Uh, they have so many different little modules it's really fascinating. So uh, as I said, I haven't got this up and running myself yet, but I'm really excited to play around with it based on some of these projects. Um, and there's plenty of inspiration to be had. I recommend checking out all the specs. If you scroll down on the official page on m5stack.com, you'll find the features, including the 5 volt DC power supply, USB-C, ESP32 based, uh, 4 megabytes of flash, wow, um, 520k of RAM, 6 axis IMU, uh, I'm actually curious which axes those are. I'm guessing accelerometer and gyroscope. I'm guessing the other three would be the magnetometer, and it probably wouldn't include that. Data sheet. Noise. We'll come back to that. Red LED infrared transmitter. Um, does it have a receiver? I'm curious. Well, you can use it as a remote control if it has a transmitter. Um, microphone, two buttons, an LCD, uh, one the reset button, 2.4 gigahertz antenna, 
uh, 80 milliamp hour lipo battery, extendable socket Grove port that we looked at, the seed Grove kit. Uh, you can easily add uh, sensors and actuators with very little code. There's examples for all kinds of stuff with those. They're so cool. Um, wearable and wall mountable. And then development platforms include UI Flow, MicroPython, and Arduino. Always a favorite. So much cool stuff. Check out the links in the description of this video. I hope to follow up soon with something I've actually done with it. <laughs> but I love these wearable watch platforms. It's so cool. Let's see if this is loaded. Yeah, okay, so what are you? Uh, three axis gyroscope and accelerometer. Makes sense. Um, great, and they've even like, they. Yeah, it's so easy to find. That's in their GitHub. Uh, for M5 stack. Marvelous. Uh, check out Mohib's profile. He's on Twitter at Virgil Vox uh, or Hackster. Same uh, account name. I have linked it in the description. Uh, and then, just for funsies, the next one I want to check out is this LoRa uh, device called the TTGO LoRa32. Um, there's a couple of featured projects also using this LoRa tracker slash pager device. Uh, and the TTGO LoRa mesh chat device. I think both of these are by Scott Powell, yeah. And uh, the Things Conference just happened, which is a uh, LoRa-centered technology, and I would, I'm really curious about playing more with LoRa in general. Uh, so this seems like a cool device with which to do that. As always, if you ever need something interesting to look at, see, here's the LoRa one, the first one. Um, and then there's the second one. Uh, yeah, all oh, they're like an, an endless, endless font of inspiration here. Way too much uh, for me to look at. This is actually, you would think that I would always look at the featured projects on Hexer, but to be honest, it's dangerous. I intentionally keep myself from looking at our Twitter feed because I will get lost in it for a million hours. It's a problem. I already have an internet addiction. I don't need that, that in my life. But you should definitely check out the featured projects. Uh, every day because there's just some amazing stuff and all you have to do is go to the main page hackster.io and be teleported into a, an, a magical world of hardware hackery. All right, that's all I've got for you now. Again, I hope to follow up soon with an actual project using this. It looks like so much fun and it's so like easily wearable. I don't have the watch module, but this would be super simple to mount uh, and I've got all kinds of little projects that uh, involve like simple timers and things that would be really useful to do with this. Oh, so stay tuned and hack on, and we'll see you soon.